Today we are going to discuss about Space Division Multiplexes or SDMA. The Space Division Multiplexes controls the radiated energy for each user in space. It can be seen from this figure that SDMA serves different users by using spot beam antennas. These different areas covered by the antenna beam may be served by the same frequency in a TDMA or CDMA system or different frequencies in an FDMA system. The sectorized antennas may be thought of as a primitive application of SDMA. Then in the future, adaptive antennas will likely be used to simultaneously steer energy in the direction of many users at once and appear to be best suited for TDMA and CDMA base station architectures. Eru SDMA technique in the consider Jimbo spatially separated itala different users in a namka or same frequency and a usage that handle Jayanita. Ari Yesle Namka directive and Nasi usage the Amdi. Our user and Dayum direction lala our directive and Nasi usage that Namka Aru particular user item atram communicate Jayanita. So you directive and Nasi usage Jimbo other where a direction lunum are information to spread Daganilla. So same frequency. Where your location use alum, our day interference occur Okay. Then here the reverse link presents the most difficulty in cellular systems for several reasons. First, the base station has complete control over the power of all the transmitted signals on the forward link. However, because of different radio propagation paths between each user and the base station, the transmitted power from each subscriber unit must be dynamically controlled to prevent any single user from driving up the interference level for all other users. Second, the transmit power is limited by battery consumption at the subscriber unit. Therefore, there are limits on the degree to which power may be controlled on the reverse link. If the base station antenna is made to spatially filter each desired user so that more energy is detected from each subscriber, then the reverse link for each user is improved and less power is required. Adaptive antennas used at the base station and eventually at the subscriber units promise to mitigate some of the problems on the reverse link. In the limiting case of infinitesimal beam width and infinitely fast tracking ability, adaptive antennas implement optimal SDMA thereby providing a unique channel that is free from the interference of all other users in the cell. Then with SDMA, all users within the system would be able to communicate at the same time using the same channel. In addition, a perfect adaptive antenna system would be able to track individual multipath components for each user and combine them in an optimal manner to collect all of the available signal energy from each user. The perfect adaptive antenna system is not feasible since it requires infinitely large antennas.